Shut up. The people that know me well know my name, but most people refer to me as Toilet. I was always into servitude and like exploring the female form. And I think one of my main interests has always been scent and taste. So it started off with women not being washed as you know one of my main interests. And then I'd always want to go down on women when they'd just been to the toilet. So it just went from there really and trying to push the boundary of like, you know, how far can they push me and, and what kind of disgusting things could they make me do? I have a very sensitive sense of smell and taste and often when I get used I can tell what people have eaten, what they've drunk, if they smoke, uh, if they're on medication. So yeah, yeah, I've got a very, very sensitive, sensitive sense of smell and taste. I don't have one specific person that would be the dream person to use me. It's, it's not really to do with aesthetics, it's more about how they carry themselves and like how into it they are. And I also, like for me, the fantasy is, is more to do with being used by groups that are doing it for them and not for me. The, the worst thing for me is when it's done just for my pleasure. I, I like it to be the complete opposite For this particular kink, I don't think I need a deeper connection at all. I quite like when there's no connection, so it's a lot more to do with the objectification of it. And again, so that there's no thought or care about how I'm feeling. I'm more into the extreme side of the fetish. I, I wouldn't say there's any aspect of it that I don't like, but maybe the clearing up. Clearing up after is never fun, but again, that still feeds into the whole like um, objectification side of it and humiliation side. Well, every single session that I've done has been for a varied amount of time. I've been used for parties, so I've been used for like six, I'd say about six hours at a time. I've been used, you know, for literally two, three minutes and and the session's over, so it, it depends on the situation, it varies every time and who's using me and how many people are using me. I've always been quite open about my relationship to kink and I think where I've been so open, I've had a lot more opportunities and yeah, I, I find it really, really easy to, to talk about my kinks with most people. All of my friends know about what I'm into and, and what I get up to. Meeting people has always been through my openness, but now where I'm an owned toilet and have been for the past five, nearly six years, I have no control over who uses me. So my owner is the one that decides who and when I'm used and how I'm used. I no longer have any control over who uses me. The, the thing that gives me the biggest kick is, I'd say, the trust that I'm given by people. And not only that, I think the empowerment, like I said before, it's not about me and my kink. I want it to be used by other people for them to explore theirs and for it to be like, an accessible opportunity for them to explore it. And I think that's what gives me the biggest kick is them being able to tick off something that they've always wanted to try. That being a toilet is pretty much all we ever talk about. And it's <laughs> something that we try and explore as much as possible, whether that is just within our own dynamic or whether it's setting up meets with other people. It's something that yeah, is, is the main part of our, our sexual dynamic. I've never heard of, of any human toilet meetups. I, I don't think there would be any point in them, in meeting up to discuss what you're into. I think anyone that's into it 
just wants to get used. You know, that they're, they're not there to have a chat about if that like what they like or anything like that. They just they want to get used. The most enjoyable aspect of being a human toilet is being objectified. I think life's so chaotic that you, you don't have much time to just chill out. And I think when I'm used, it's one of the only times where I'm totally at peace. So I'd say that was probably the most, most enjoyable part about being used as a human toilet.